tight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. By BlackRifleCoffee.com. You know what, Jabes? I wish you looked at me the same way that Lady Gaga looks at Bradley Cooper. I really do. You know? It's disturbing, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want in my life. I right? want I want you just this. to yep, yep, just to gaze at me. Just to uh, just to she gaze at is me. In love with him. I get it though. What we're referring oh, to by the way for the audience at home. I get it too. I just the blatant disregard of the other the significant other. Yeah, and again, for that's the audience at home, to... if you've not seen this viral clip that's exploded over the weekend. Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga is doing a one-person show, not not two, because she did a you know a bunch of duets and things like that. Oh, okay, um, she's doing it's her a, residency in yeah, it's a re- in Vegas. her residency in Vegas. There was there was some speculation that she'd have a bunch of guests and things like oh, that because okay, okay, she's okay. doing two. So she's doing one. Uh, in an arena like that's just you know fucking rah, ooh, ga, ga, poker face sure and then you could buy tickets for another show that's called jazz and piano where it's just her singing at a piano and that's it kind of kind of like ballads it, yeah. both, both are equally interesting the Powerful. speculation was that she would have guests come in for the jazz Got and it. piano one and sing with her Got it. and she did last night or she did saturday night she the did guest of all guests guest of all guests popped up and it was it was b coops Oh. Bradley Cooper came in. Very, very, I'm not prepared. Oh, I could never. And then he, <laughs> boom, you know, is ready to yeah. perform. I could never. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. So they sang their hit song, Shallow, together, sure. which is, uh, look, look, let's face it. It's, it's amazing. And it's, it deserves to win the Oscar. Yeah. It, it probably will win the Oscar, especially yeah. after that performance last night. But everybody online was talking about how close they were. It was a long clip. Yeah. Check it out, guys. <laughs> Girls, mostly. And tell me how you would feel um, as uh, Bradley Coopy, Cooper's baby mama. Coopy. I like Coopy a lot. Coopy. Coopy, like Jean. Yeah. Coopy Jean, let me know how you would feel deep down if you were watching this viral video. Because yeah, he is married with a child, I believe. He has a girlfriend, but they're, you know, it's like girlfriend with a child. Okay. Very Hollywood, like we're together. That was, how, that was Mark Wahlberg's sitch before yeah. they ended up getting together and finally getting married. Yeah. And then uh, Gaga is... Fian- She's engaged. Engaged. Yes. It's fiancéd. Fiance. It's going to be a long show, guys. Yeah, it Woo! is. It Get is. Get it together. So she's engaged to a manager agent. Right. Uh, uh, her manager and agent, um, which makes sense to me. Because we watched that documentary, that Five Foot Two documentary on Netflix. That's a whole box of problems yes. on your hands. There is a problem. But, it, but it's this thing of... I'm overcoming the problem every day. So she needs like the gratification for that. Right. So she'll tell everyone how much she's in pain. Yeah. But that she's going to move through it, guys. So don't say anything. So don't tell me about it. And I, look, I've seen her in concert four or five times. She, the, the pain she's describing in this documentary is probably real. The shit she does on stage. I mean, there was one show where I was like, oh, my God, she just broke her back. Like right. she just fucking jumped off a piano and sure. then just rolled around the ground. And you're just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great, Look, I get by it. The way, I get it. Great show. Great live show. She's one of the best live performers yeah. we have from a female, probably her and Beyonce or one, onesie twosie in the world. As far as li- live performances and well, dancing and everything else you do, everything, um, so, you know, the stage theatrics and all of that Voice shit. Is amazing. Uh, I had a different, uh, a, view of what saturday's performance was sure every other woman saw it a different way who watched it online we're just like whoa 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 that is a little too close for that long 
It's the thing of like your husband doesn't have good friends that he hangs out with in that way. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go meet up with my friend, and then you see some some video of them just close. That's super close. why I think it was staged. So of course, we've but we've talked about girl. this off air, but. We, we look. We know the award season. We know the pageant train, all that shit behind it. You, you, have you to hire it. yes, and you have to hire publicity firms strictly for your Oscar campaign, yes. not for your your day to day life publicist and shit. Strictly for Oscar campaigns. So far, uh, they've been shut out in the major awards. They got shut out in Golden Globes. She won for best song, which yeah. again she deserves. Right, but she didn't win best actress. Mm-mm. B. Coops didn't win Best Actor. Or the movie, director, yeah. the movie didn't win Best mm-hmm. Movie, which I thought it should have. Um, SAG Awards were last night. Right. I really thought all of them got shut out again. I thought Glenn Close your keeps peers, winning. You know, yeah. I guess that's maybe it's body of work, but God darn. Yeah. Well, Glenn Close is one. If I'm not mistaken, I believe she won for Fatal Attraction back in the day. There's no way to find out. Nope. I, and you, you, that computer you're, you're uh, dabbling with has no, I mean, nothing on it. Oh, yep. Didn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but she's yeah. one. And in like, okay. in, in so, my yeah, opinion, no. All right. in my opinion, and I, look, I know Lady Gaga is a singer already. So her going in and singing in this part. Sure. It's still difficult. You got to, I mean, you're singing and acting and, you know. That's a two and a half. Whoa, that movie was like two and a half hours long. Uh, yeah, but I, the more I kind of th- love the movie. Sure. Favorite. Favorite of all the, of this year, right? In every way. But she really did play. A version of herself. Herself. And so as far as a, I mean, was her performance amazing? Uh, what she had to go through to get there? Not much. Yeah. Taking off makeup. I'm sorry, <laughs> but taking off makeup and it doesn't discount. It's like the kind of acting I do, you know, where it's like, yes, you can make it natural, but you know, I need it to be, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 It's the kind of acting I do. I like that natural. I like really real. I like it to no one to be able to find a fault in it. You know sure, what I'm saying? And sure. really the only way to do that is to make it more like yourself, whatever that character is. Yeah. So that people don't see any, for me anyway, I'm not a like character type actor. So, uh, for, for, so for, for me personally, I think they, they did that performance in Vegas on purpose. They knew it would go viral. They knew, they knew, hey, we've got to get one Oscar out of this. I think that's sealed it up Saturday night that they will definitely win best song at least. So you're walking out of there. Yeah. Gaga's walking out of there with an Oscar on, you know, February 23rd. I think they would have anyways, don't you? Um, for best song, I, for best song at least. I think so. There's, there's that Diane, fuck it, what's her name? Again, wish I had somebody with a computer. Well, who, anyways, who Glenn Close it. hasn't won, so we got that down. Oh, she has not won. No. She didn't win for Fatal Attraction. She's been nominated one, two, three, four, seven times. Holy shit. And never won. Ugh. So probably give it to her for body work. We're probably going to give it to her for the, all of the nominations: the natural, the big chill, uh, uh, Albert Knobs, fave. That's a fave. Big Albert, Knobs fan. Big huge Knobs, Knobs fan. fan. I love to just chill out with curl some Knobs. Up. Oh, yeah. I knob and knob. <laughs> Dangerous liaisons, fatal attraction. Yeah, I mean, she's got she's got a pretty she's never won, huh? impre- and never won. Uh, so they might give it to her for body of work. And by the way, I'm hoping they do that with Sam Elliott as well. Oh, absolutely. For a star is born. So yes. look, it, look, maybe Sam will win. Sam Elliott will win, and maybe she'll win for best song. Yeah, I, I think best picture now after the SAG Awards because uh, Black Panther won last night. I think since he didn't get nominated, Ryan Coogler for director, because now that this is starting to shake out, you kind of have your favorites now. And, yes. and by the way, you can bet on this in Vegas or on mybookie.com, which is our sports, our, our sponsor. I would on, do that. Yeah. You can bet, you can bet on, be on, on mybookie.com. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, maybe we should do a show just for betting for the Oscars because we have an account there. So like anybody who uses the promo code, their deposits double and they can bet with us at least. 
You want to do a you want to do an Oscar show like that? I mean, that would be sweet, but a lot of pressure. You don't feel you've got a percentage that's am, going as far as games, but with the Oscars, there's only one chance. Diane, I'm Warren, really good at it though. Diane Warren, I'll yes, fight. Yes, um, so that one's, uh, Diane that one's Warren's be hard. been nominated fifty fucking times, right? Anyway, and it's all fight, and it's from the RBG movie, right? Which let's face it. Hollywood loves fucking RGB. So uh, RBG. RBG, but I don't, I don't think they're behind this movie. They are. I think, are they? I, I think it's going to win best documentary. Actually, this is maybe we should do this. I'm really, I'm always really good at picking these fucking things because it's usually publicity and, and who's doing what the one that was, uh, it's been a shocker for me over the weekend. So Lady Gaga and, and Bradley Coops, B Coops did that performance in Vegas on Saturday, hopped on a plane. Went to the SAG Awards last night in L.A. Both got shut out, but that Romney, Ram, Rami, Rami Malik, I mean, what, who, whatever. I'll never get that fucking name right, Mister Robot. Sure, he won again for fucking. Mm-hmm. For, I, in what world? Against Coops, and they went. He, you know, they went through the nominees, and it's just like you fucking. It's a red main to me. Yeah, you haven't paid your fucking dues, you shit. Well, I, I think he's thirty eight. 39 he, I, he's fine I, like he's paid he his dues at this point you think yeah he's been at he it was for a long mr. time because he was in mr robot no and, but and you, you have to look at the years before that right you have to look at all of those years before that where you're doing bit parts and fucking grinding and auditions and all that shit like take kevin hart man i remember you know fucking auditions with him that we didn't get none of us were fucking famous and all that shit then he gets one part in a 40 year old virgin and I was like, and it was really funny. It was a small scene, but it was really funny inside the stereo yeah, store. Yeah, it was. And I thought for sure he'd pop after that. Nothing. For like fucking 10 years, 10 more years it took him. So I think it's the same way with Homeboy where it's just like, you know, he's a, he's a little weird looking. Mr. Robot comes along and requires that weird looking type of dude. And you finally get to break out. What did we watch? Hereditary the other night? Is that weird little girl with the fucking space apart eyes and all that shit? Like, yeah. Who looks at that girl dead serious as a parent and says, this is going to be a great child actor. Usually it's some little pageant kid or right. bullshit. Like, so you never know. I, I'll reserve judgment on that. What I won't reserve judgment on, though, is that performance where I just, it wasn't that, it was fine. It was just a VH1 That's movie. That's what I mean. So if it was something where I'm like, all right, dude, like um, a Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio, Gilbert Grape, right? He's 16, 15 or whatever. Right. Um, I wonder if they would have been pissed if he won, but like he, he maybe didn't pay his dues at that point, but that he was so great in that great movie. Right. So for this, it's like, yeah, I'm sure he's been, you know, banging away. He was born rich, but I'm sure that doesn't have anything to do with it. Never um, does. It never does. It, do- it doesn't <laughs> make it easier to struggle in the world of trying to be an actor. But anyways, yeah. Um, so I just don't feel that be- a he didn't pay his dues, and then b the movie wasn't good enough, and the material that he had to work with. I mean, Freddie Mer- Mercury, I believe, he's a pretty easy, not an easy character, but he's very much a character. Yeah, yeah. He, there's yeah. no, there's not too many nuance. He didn't get too many nuance to his performance. Well, the, the other script was the so, other script was, but in this one there no. wasn't a point where you saw a different side of freddie he was very yeah, yeah, yeah. flamboyant the whole time even in quiet moments right? right so i don't know i just i just look at it a different way i guess but i'm sure he'll win he's look he's the front he's runner at this point won. after last night and uh there's no way we'll that see. coops takes it in the at the oscars with the lead up there's always doing. there's always a curveball in there there is, but I'm not sure if it's going to be this one. Yeah, well, yeah. I, look, Bradley Cooper didn't get nominated for Best Actor anyway, so it doesn't matter. In, for an Oscar? Correct. No. Okay. So, it, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, my, um, uh, my a lot, a lot, a lot of people are saying uh, Mahershala Ali, so we'll Oh, see. that's right, that's right. And we'll he won see. last night, so. Yeah. Um, But, uh. Bateman won for Bateman Ozark finally. finally won. Fuck. I love him so much. He I just know. got up there and was like, well, this is reassuring. Oh, do you know what I mean? Just like, yes, you f- it, basically saying, fuck you. Yeah. Which I love because fuck you guys. Well, he's on the best drama uh, on television. And he right had now. so much to do with it. There's just so much. Yeah, he wrote it, directed there's it, There's so many it, other things other going shit. on that 
I don't know if people realize how amazing he actually is in it. Yeah, big fan. Maybe they will now. Big fan of Ozark. We did a fucking show about it too. Um, So, yeah, I I think you and I should probably do one Oscar special with bets and see how that shakes out. I'm going to lose because I go with my heart. You do. I go with my heart and you go with like <laughs> the, pu- you, you go with the, I know the machine, the machine. You're right. So I know the publicity. So machine, I always so. lose. Cause I go, that's who I want to win. Right. And you're like, that's not how it works. No, no. It's Maybe, not how it I works. tell you what. So Oscars are on a Sunday. We'll do it. We'll do it the Friday before. And then. Okay. There, That'll be, give people time to bet and stuff like. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So I, I'll put it this way. So on 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 Drink and Bros Sports, the sports show that I host, we're sponsored by a company named, uh, called MyBookie.com, and they have all these wild prop bets, and they they do a, a, everything across the board. Um, even for the Super Bowl this weekend, there's I, I think over 125 prop bets, which Dan and I are going to do all of them. By the way. And we're that recording is like, them tonight. Yeah. Right. And I, the, for the Oscars, the they do the same thing. Banner, and, yeah, yeah. Like how long it's going to be. Exactly. And... So for the Oscars, you can bet on all of that shit as well. And then with our promo code of Drinking Bros, it doubles your deposits. So from like $100 to $3,000. So, you know, you want to throw 100 in, it'll double it to 200 At least you can nice. put like 10 bucks on each award or 20 bucks on each award and see how you do. Okay. Because we all do. I do that. I, we, you know, we, you and I... Do it every year, just personally at home. Um, yeah. And then, uh, look, everybody else has parties and shit like that, and people come over. I wonder what the ratings will be this year with no host and all that stuff. But are they still going no host? They're not going to do none, none. So that that's that's in there, and uh, I'm sure there'll be a prop bet on that. To be honest with you, because there's a prop bet on all of this shit. Right. Uh, there there's a prop bet right now for the Super Bowl on how many cutaways there's going to be at the game to Giselle. That's a good one. Yeah. And I think it's 16. That's a good one. I think the over under is like 16. So yeah. I'm gonna, I'll double yeah. check tonight. But like uh, that's how like when we talk about prop bets, yeah. that's how detailed it's going to be. Detailed. Get. Yeah. They're really getting about this shit where you're just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Now that's that's the shit I like. I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like you, you would enjoy things like that. The national yeah. anthem over under. Right. Because uh, it's really like, well, I guess there's a way to know, but. Is there really the most fascinating one I read about was on, on a safety. So a safety is so rare uh, in a Super Bowl. It's only happened, I think, I don't know, four times or something. Right. So if you bet it's 10 to one odds. So if you bet 100, you win a thousand dollars off of it. Right. Mm-hmm. And there was a guy who on, on ESPN who was just like, let me tell you about sports gambling and these prop bets and all that shit. Like I did it. I did them all one year just to see what would happen. And the year he did it, I was like, Oh fuck. I remember that game. There was a safety to start off the game. And he was like, I won a thousand dollars. Like it never happens, you know? Right. So things like that where you're like, all right, cool. Yeah. If you're betting on a safety, I'd, I'd throw a hundred on that just to see if you, if it would happen, I think, you know? Yeah. And I know what that is. So two points, okay. it's a two point play, which is, you know, Rare. The defense has got a in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Super rare. Like, uh, so I, things like that are fun. Where you know the Super Bowls become such a big spectacle that I mean, you can bet on Maroon Five. Like, there's Maroon Five prop bets on it. Which songs they're going to play? Which song they're going to open with? Dang. Yeah. So it's you know it's intense. Sure, sure. Because I can tell you uh, without looking at it, I know Travis Scott is, is doing a, a thing in it. I know big boy from outcast is doing a thing in it. Like if, if there's a prop bet that Travis Scott is going to play sicko mode and they're going to somehow work that in there, I'm mm-hmm. taking that through the roof. Right. That, that is a hundred percent going to go down. That is the only reason Travis Scott will probably be there is for that song. Cause it's massive. Yeah. So we'll see. But it'll be fun. Tune in to Drinking Bro Sports on Wednesday if you wanna if you wanna peep it. If you wanna peep it out. Uh, we got some sponsors, Jabes. We'll Do it. Oh sh- shit wagon on the air. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say about everyone in the audience last night? What do you mean? What they were doing about Oh my gosh, when the before we get into the sponsors. Every if you watch the, that viral video of Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper when they, when they came out when Bradley Cooper when they found out he was in the crowd and he walked down they fucking cream pied each other <laughs> no everyone that's not how it works cream pied each you other you don't in know the what audience. a cream pie is no I do know what a cream pie is and I, I'm telling you 
straights, gays, they were all fucking each other and just cream pied in one another, like waiting for Bradley Cooper on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen pe- that many people cream pie each other. I would have died. I know. I'm, I, am I know. Everybody. So in it, oh, right. Everybody would have. Because it's that that right there. If you were there, and this is why I like going to all this shit. You will see a once in a lifetime moment where it's just like, holy fuck! Absolutely. I can't believe I was there for this. That's a once in a lifetime moment. He's not going back to do that ever again. You know? No. And you know it. You know as it's happening. Yeah. That and you, I'm no one will there ever be for there. that yes. kind of shit. Remember when Adele, she raises up, yeah. oh, tears. <laughs> I just start crying and I'm like laughing at myself. I'm looking at you. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> That's like how much I love that kind of yeah. shit. I can be moved and like laugh at myself for being so moved about it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Tears. So I, I took you to Adele for, yeah. what was our anniversary or birthday or something? It was one of it. It was in New York, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it? Madison Square Garden. And like once we, in a lifetime. We had we were like, I don't know, two two or three seats away from the from one of the stages because there was two stages. There's two, and so there's one in and the we middle. We were on the floor, yeah. So there's one in the middle. We're looking at the front stage because we're thinking, okay, da da da. And yeah. boom, she comes up right next to me. But raises out, out from underneath the, the stage. But Hello? Here, yeah, but here's the thing, and there was no warning. So it yeah, wasn't yeah. like, ladies and We're gentlemen, like, oh, yeah, no, no. It's please like, take your the seats. The lights didn't Adele. even really dim. No. And the surprise of it and everything, I yeah. just and she started was, crying. And she was probably less than 10 feet away from you. And all she just pops up from underneath the stage. <laughs> you were just Hello. laughing at me. And you just, you turned like <laughs> shocked. I mean, because Adele was like 10 feet away from you. And that voice is so powerful. And m- lit moving you in a way just, that like... Stopped and started, stopped and started hysterically crying. crying. Yeah, it wasn't hysterical, it was but it amazing. was like yeah. the tears just literally started coming down. And I'm like, yeah. oh, what, what is happening to me? Even I was surprised. Where I was just like, whoa, okay, all right, wow, this is going down right now. Yeah. It, it was amazing. It was incredible, and you can't so replicate a moment like that, right? And so that's exactly how I would be in that oh, moment yeah, if yeah, I yeah. see is he here? Is he here? Why are they? Why are they cheering? Is he here? Where is he? <laughs> and just if I once I see him walking with the hat i would have fainted and died yeah yeah you would have lost all of the shit inside of your body all my meanwhile shit. everybody else in the crowd was cream they're not each cream other. Pie- yeah yeah they were cream pieing each other all night long and it was just <laughs> like said about this multiple golf tournament one multiple time. cream they pies are just creaming their jeans <laughs> Is that how it works? I still don't know how golf, it is. golf it is. tournaments work. But My biggest <laughs> surprise at a concert, by the way, that I was like, holy fucking shit, was uh, the, the hologram Tupac when we were at Coachella. Yeah, our drugs like, might have helped with that one a little bit, huh? <laughs> I was like, it was at the yo, man, moment. is that Tupac? It was at the moment of the night. Everyone's kind of, you know, sunset. The things are starting to yeah, happen. Yeah. And that, you're right. Hologram Tupac. For With me, everything it was just else like, kind of involved, it was like, whoa, holy shit. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there were a couple people that thought it was real, I'm sure. Some millennials. Oh, that yeah. They were I, like, I, oh, I guess Tupac's here. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I couldn't, it took me a minute to figure for out. Sure. But that was rad. There's been some other celebrity shit, but that doesn't really count because it's like, all right, you're at a party or you're at a private function. It's like, sure, people are going to get up and do shit. But when you're at a gigantic public event and something like that happens that you're just like, oh, my God, this is a once in a lifetime thing. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Anyway, sponsors. First and foremost, BlackRifleCoffee.com. Drinking it. Drinking it right. Somebody wrote in and said, I don't understand. Black Rifle Coffee has got the best mugs on the planet, which they do. If you're watching the video show on YouTube or iTunes... I'm I'm drinking out of it right now. You refuse to drink out of these mugs, and we have a thousand of them. I, I, sorry, it's still the the white girl, almost, 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 almost ready to go. Styrofoam cup, crazy, crazy. Don't be a basic white girl. Go to blackriflecoffee.com. Get yourself some mugs. They, those ceramic mugs that they hand make are the fucking Amazing. greatest mugs of all time. Um, they got a b- bunch of new gang banging products there at blackriflecoffee.com. That will be the sales in that will be are fucking massive because they're cool as shit. I know. And it's like the warmest blanket of all time. Do it. It's, it's like a lining, it. lining for a sleeping bag. Like, can you get a better material than that? No, you can't. 
Congratulations, BlackRifleCoffee.com. You continue to amaze me. Sign up for their... Sorry. Caught me mid, mid-sip. Um, sign up for their Coffee Club of the Month program. And uh, you get bags, K-cups, all that shit. Uh, delivered to your doorstep. Same date of every single month. Revolution, 20% off at BlackRifleCoffee.com. Next up, we got GhostBed.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Got a lot of messages after the last show of, hey, man, that was really fucking cool what they did. Uh, So if you're a military, current or former, or a first responder, current or former, uh, at the bottom of the page, when you go to... uh, Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. You're going to see a 15, an extra 15% discount off if you were military or first responder. Click that off and you, you will get that. Um, but it's only exclusive through this show. We, we have a lot of military and first responders who listen to the show. Um, it's amazing what they have done. And we are super, super grateful to them for doing that. Uh, again, man, really fucking cool move uh, by Rich who, who, who did that. Uh, super appreciative. And, you know, look, everybody runs deals on their products uh, for Christmas and uh, things like that. January, there's not a lot of deals because you're kind of back in it, you know. Got to get the company rev up, you know, all that shit. And uh, for them to do this in the middle of January is is amazing. So go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Get all the deals. And, uh, again, military or first responder, you get an extra 15% off there. And they have a pay-as-you-go program, 36 months no interest. So if there's a better deal than that, I, I can't name it. We have them in all our rooms, and uh, we're ginormous fans of them. You, are you drinking an H-Factor? I told you not to. Oh, I'm, boy. An H fa- you just pounded an H-Factor water. I always tell you not to use the props from set because then they never get replaced. I'll put it back. There used to be four bags of Black Rifle coffee in front of me, and you drank it. Now you're drinking the water. Uh, we love H Factor water, but that, that's that's just for, we just love them. There's no discount or anything for that. Uh, next up, we got straightrazors.com. Straightrazors.com. Oh, hey, James, gotcha. I thought. Ah, why didn't we you do, do another one? Force. I wanted to get you in mid mid drink there. What do we got, James? Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Are you rocking? Oh, God. You did that extra loud because I fucked you on your drinking. Yeah, and I was pissed. <laughs> Go to straightrazors.com. Be a real man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be a real man. Shave your face. You want to be smooth as an Asian? Look at this baby face daddy's got here. Straightrazors.com. The only reason. Their blades are just better than everybody else's. If you're nervous about using a straight razor, they get a safety razor. With a blade that's even better. Uh, it t- literally, it takes about a day and a half off your shaving. So it saves you an extra day and a half. It's great. Their smolder aftershave is the jam. Did you already pound that thing of age factor water? You have to. It's Jeez. the only way. And then you're like, yes. Yeah, it is the best. I love, I'm a big fan of theirs. Uh, big fan of straightrazors.com. They'll use that shit every day too, man. Uh, their smolder aftershave is the best aftershave on the planet. I cannot go anywhere without it. Go to straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Last but not least, strikeforceenergy.com. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Boom, boom, boom. Shabloinkers. Um, dude, Strikeforce. Strikeforce Energy. Is uh, That's the go-to right now for the, for the diet season. Everybody's hitting me up, man. No carbs, no sugars. We get it, man. Everybody's dieting and you're trying to get some energy. I crash mid-afternoon. It's my afternoon. Fucking pick me up. Four amazing flavors. Lemon, original, orange, and make America grape again. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. Rest on your bar top or countertop so you can just boom, boom. Pop a couple squirts in and go. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Get on it. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. Come on, man. Uh, and as always, you can buy my books. Uh, when darkness falls, it doesn't catch it. And at night, she cries while he rides his steed. Uh, number one on Audible. Number one on Audible. Go and check it out. If you like this show, we do all the voices in it. Uh, two Oscar winners. No, one Oscar winner is in uh, the, 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 the second one. And it's the highest rated book on Audible. 4.99999. Uh, For a reason. Yeah. A uh, team of actors do them. They're six and a half hours a piece. So if you like listening to the show and one another six and a half of fucking pure fucking chaos, 
join up, dude. Get it. Get these books available in hardback, paperback, and uh, an ebook as well. Jabes, it is a it is a winter wonderland out there. Oh yeah. I didn't know. I didn't understand what was going on. Like I look, I was at that that Kansas City game last weekend, obviously, and I knew how cold it was because I was there. Um, now there's another cold front that's moving in. This is the coldest ever. Yeah, there was in Chicago. Yeah, they're saying like exposure to skin. Yeah, could cause frostbite instantly. That that's what I read. There's uh, uh the wind chill in Minneapolis right now is is fifty below. Minus fifty, 50. below fifty below with wind like that's insane. Insane, man. Chicago. I mean, I'm looking at the charts here. Like, you've got to be kidding me. You're with wind chills. You're looking at around, right around minus uh, 41 in Chicago. Where are you going for Super, Super Bowl? Bowl? Uh, Atlanta. So it's in a dome. Okay. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, right. Atlanta is going to probably mm-hmm. be 40, 50 degrees, whatever. Uh, it's supposed to be raining that day, and they were thinking about opening up, uh, opening up the stadium. But uh, I don't see that that happening, which mm. I'm stoked about. I don't want to fucking sit for in that shit. For sure. I want to sit in a dome, be toasty, enjoy oh, myself. Yeah. Minus 41 degrees in Chicago. Have you ever been in weather that cold? No. I, the, the coldest I've ever been in was uh, negative 17. That was the coldest I've ever been in. They canceled classes at Ohio State, which is rare. They never cancel classes for cold or snow at Ohio State. They don't do it. I've never been in negative. Okay. So. I've only been in. I hadn't either at that point because I grew okay. up most of my life in the South, right? Born in Peoria, Illinois, but uh, only lived there for a couple of years. Parents got divorced and then we moved to uh, Atlanta. I think I was like three or four, whatever, right? Never had weather like that. Went to Ohio State and that day that it was minus 17, uh, we were all living in this, you know, in the fraternity house and it was a big, gigantic house. Heat was cranked up and everybody, you know, was raging because it was like no school, snow, whatever, right? And I was like, man, I, I want to go out in this. And they were like, you don't want to go on that. Mm-mm. Like that instant frostbite like they're talking mm-hmm. about. I went out. I was like, I got to feel it at least once. I got to see what this, the hype is all about. You know what sure. I'm saying? Because I, I want to see how cold it really is. Right. I went, the, the, the second I walked outside, my nose hairs were frozen solid. Oh my God. So you take a deep inhale. And your nose hairs are frozen solid. And like also the, 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 your breath, it's so cold. Your mouth goes dry immediately because you think about all the saliva and everything you have. Like as soon as you suck in, you're like, Oh, oh, oh my oh. gosh. Yeah. No. Yeah. It, that's a, that's a crazy one. Um, oh my God, and no, no, thank you. I can't imagine. So this is, that was minus 17. This is minus 50. Oh my God. You can't, you cannot go. Outside, you can't. Right? No. What do you do for something? Apparently, like that? do they that's cancel what work. S- you can't go outside. So it's- for for last year's Super Bowl in Minneapolis, because I when went the year before. Uh, you know, I had tickets last year. I was like, no, I'm not going to Minneapolis. It was it was negative one at kickoff. Now, granted, they had a dome too, so they didn't, sure. they didn't have to worry about it. But I didn't want to go up there because usually you party for like three days and go to all these parties and there's mm-hmm. bands and all that stuff like. I didn't want to go up there and try to walk outside. Or could you imagine waiting in line? Because mm-hmm. you, no matter how famous you are, you still have to wait in a little bit of line where it's just like, no. all right, cool. Nope. I didn't want to wait outside in, in negative one degree temperatures. I can't imagine negative 50. Right. Holy shit. Mm-mm. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, Sundance, I think it was, it was one night where it was minus three, I think, with the, the wind chill or whatever. We had to wait outside for a second. I, I remember I couldn't, coldest. I couldn't feel like four of my fingers yeah. on one hand. And I was like, Oh my God. And I was wearing gloves. I was wearing like, you know, hardcore man. I was like, Oh fuck. No, we got to get inside. We got to get inside. And then these little, those little tiki torch things out those lamps, you know? And I was like, that's not going to do shit. Mm-mm, mm-mm. We have to go inside. Heat cranked up. I wonder with, when you get this cold, because it says potentially life threatening cold, do they cancel work? Do they cancel work? I mean, school for sure. I, you know that across the board. They're not going to risk kids going out in this shit. 
but like do you your mean job by canceling work though your job like you know if you're I working think at, on those days it it would be totally acceptable to not obviously come hospitals in. have to be open but right like the rest of your jobs like if you were in advertising in chicago because that, that's a big advertising city i think you could i think it's the thing of you can stay home you won't be penalized Oof. for taking the day. Uh, I think a lot of places will be closed as far as businesses, stores, and stuff like that because you shouldn't be out. Yeah. In Chicago, on the south side right now, uh, people are getting robbed for their winter coats at gunpoint. That's, that's how severe this has gotten. I mean. Chicago, come on, man. It's south side. Look, the north side of Chicago is amazing. South side of Chicago, I don't know why they just don't send in military at this point. Like, how many, there's like, what, 40 deaths there a month? Like, it's crazy. At this point, just send in the military. I, I don't, I think people would freak the fuck out. National Guard, for real. Like, yeah. if you want to save lives, yeah, send the National Guard in and at least protect these people and try to turn it around. I mean, fuck. It, 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 it's called Chirac for a reason. Like, mm-hmm. Same shit's going on in Iraq where you're suicide bombing people and shit like that. Like, it's about the same death count. Oh, my God. Yeah. So why not? I, I don't understand. And that's been talked about. And everybody was like, no, no. Democrats are like, no, we can't have military in the streets. Shit's that bad. And you're robbing people over winter coats. Congratulations. You, you need think, military in the I streets. I think some of, you know, a lot of the moms and stuff would welcome it. I, I think so, too. Please come. So, so my kids can go to school it, safe. Yeah. yeah. And wear a fucking coat. Uh, some other shocking news went down over the weekend. Bernie, Burn Dog is in there. Bernie Burn Sanders dog. running again for president. Good job. Go Pe- ahead and dilute that side. People are we pissed. Don't care. Yeah. Pissed. Uh, one of my, my friends uh, in LA, an LA friend, obviously, who's a gigantic Bernie Sanders mm-hmm. fan. Mm-hmm. He's a huge supporter during the last campaign. I, I, look, as were a lot of people, he, I think he got fucked in that Hillary. Yeah run i probably should have been him mm-hmm. um you know when we found out later she was getting questions and all that other shit from debates and you know. it should have been him for sure uh either way he's gonna run again and i hit up my buddy and i said hey man are you excited and he goes no i'm not and i was like really he goes yeah man he goes that that was his time and he goes since then man i don't think you can regain that energy which i think is true um and that passion because it's he's not a new candidate anymore no so you know what he has to offer. Right. And you're going to pick, you're going to think of him as a loser. Yes. And that he lost, which is unfair to it's him, unfair, I think. It's unfair, but it's just reality. Ha- reality and it's how it works. Yeah. And, um, and they mentioned his age. They were like, look, you know, if he gets in there, just by the end of his first term, he'll be older than any other president by six years. And I was just like, whoa. Well, is Biden whoa, whoa, whoa. going? Because same thing. Biden's thinking about it right now. Uh, the, the, the other guy who jumped in last night was uh, Howard Schultz from Starbucks. And what he is jumped Bernie in running as, as an though? independent. Uh, Bernie's running as a Democrat. Okay. Now, Howard Schultz is running as an independent, well, a, a pure independent. That right there. Is going to tear votes away from... Yeah, you should be more pissed at that than at Bernie. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Bernie, at least, like, try, buddy. Yeah. Do what you got to do. Um, and the other one who, who said, I'm not ruling it out, was Hillary. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? I can't. I cannot. How she, much she is said CNN over the weekend, paying her? <laughs> she said over the weekend, I am not going to rule it out. So... Uh, you should... You should rule it out. You should live your <laughs> life because it will never happen. Oh, man. And that's not me saying anything from either side. That's just saying three. Do you think three times, you know, third time's a charm? Because it's know. not. I don't know. I don't know what not the, in this kind of situation, right? I don't know what the end game is in this. Uh, the other one over the weekend was Kamala Harris had her first rally. Twenty thousand over twenty thousand people were at this rally, and she's from the Bay Area, so it was up around there. Um, that that crowd is bigger than Obama's first crowd when he ran. So maybe you know. Yeah, but it's in. San, it is it's in San Francisco. It is. Let's see what the in crowd the Bay Area, is yeah, yeah. Uh, across the rest of the country. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we'll see. Right. Um, you can get real disillusioned if you hold your rallies in California and New York, right? Yeah. So we are. I mean, look, people are entering early 
And we talked about this, you know, a few shows ago of whether or not that would hurt them or not. Um, a lot of people want to get in now to establish, hey, because there's a lot of people getting in these races and shit, man. That is a lot of people to start with. Because again, Hillary might run, and you're right, Biden might run as well. That is a really crowded field, and we haven't even gotten to Beto yet. Whether or not that motherfucker is going to run, so. I think their only chance would be to rally around one person, and that's but not you can't happen. you can't yeah because you got to go through primaries, and if Schultz stays in this all the way to the end, and look, sixty minutes called it last night when they interviewed him because he announced on sixty minutes last night that he was going to run. They said, you know, as soon as this show's over, Trump's going to send a fucking horrific tr- tweet about mm-hmm. you, which he did. Uh, the tr- the tweet was this. You don't have that. He doesn't have the guts to run, which is basically saying, please stay in this all the way through the election. So that way, as an independent, the Democratic Party will lose a gajillion votes because of this guy goading him for sure. Yeah, Uh, because we watched it. We watched the 60 minutes interview last night. And, you know, I, I don't like Starbucks. Um, I don't believe in getting a six dollar cup of coffee. No, no, no. Uh, I, I appreciate and admire their business model and what they've done. I mean, thirty thousand stores globally is amazing. Yeah. Uh, his story is amazing. Mm-hmm. You know, grew up poor and uh, you know, essentially there was one Starbucks in Seattle, and they were buying a bunch of equipment and all this other shit, and he flew out on his own to see what it was and why and all that stuff, and then he exploded it. Um, some of the things they asked him about last night, I mean, he was, he, he was honest about shit on both sides. He said, look, I don't think the Republicans will get that wall. I think that's unrealistic. He said, I think Democrats, it's unrealistic for them to ever, ever expect universal health care because there's no way we can afford that as a nation. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he said this, this current political climate is just people going back and forth with hatred over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And they don't really care about the Americans, which is true to some regard. It's true, but they'll never care. No. And and I, I, and if you, if you think that politics, again, if you ever think that those politicians are sitting around wondering how your family is going to do, they're not on either side ever, 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 ever. Yeah. They're literally looking at numbers where money can go and what they need to say to you to get you on board. And that's it. That's it. But that's I, told, it. I told you last night, I said, look, I think eventually one day an independent candidate will win because of, uh, look, Trump did the unthinkable. And I think years and years and years from now, they're going to study this case in history. I, if he gets two terms, that would be the most miraculous thing of all time that a non-politician ran. doesn't matter what party you're from. Mm-hmm. Non-politician ran one the mm-hmm. White House. So it is possible. You're at least setting a precedent for if there is one guy that is super inspirational or, or a gal that is super inspirational that's running independent, I think eventually one day, yes, people will get fed, fed up with everything and say, fuck it, I'm going for this person. But I told you last night, I said, look, I think a woman will get in before that happens. That's my guess. Yeah, probably. My thing with my take on it is it, it may be a litmus test for how how much people do hate Trump because you hear that all the time. Right. Right. But there's no way to really see it in action. It feels like at his rallies and it feels like everyone or a lot of people love him, love him. Yeah. So this would be a good litmus test only because he is the anti Trump. I mean, he is self-made. He is not a politician. Right. And he is on the exact other side. He is independent. He's paying for it himself. So it's almost like the mirror, the parallel universe, bizarro Trump, right? Yeah. So it's going to it's going to be interesting to see, like, hey guys, you hate him so much. Let's see. Yeah. Right? The other thing that's that's fascinating about Schultz running as an independent is if he does stay in and makes it just through the the, the primaries mm-hmm. and, and just uh, just up to the debates mm-hmm. when you're debating each other mm-hmm. in 2020, because mm-hmm. they they look uh, there is a spot reserved for independents in uh, the debates. Yes. So you know, last year we only or last election season we only had two right. Democrat Republican. There wasn't anybody independent wise. Somebody was bitching. Who was it? Uh, Gary Johnson. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like I wanted to be on the podium, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like, hey man, you're you're, po- already... you're pulling it like one percent. No, you're not Is getting. He Aleppo guy. Yeah, he, yeah, he's a Aleppo. You guy. lost it with yeah. Aleppo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I, I, that's the only thing I worry about with Schultz is like, you know, it, what question is going to take him down in that way? He's really got to. You know, he's a very smart guy. Really you smart, have to yeah. be to build the empire that he built. I think it would be interesting to see him in a debate go go against both parties. Yeah. Because, you know, if, if he truly runs on the shit he was talking about last night. Yeah. All of these questions that you're being fired at, you you would be able to have one central candidate that says, here's why you're wrong, Republican. Here's why you're wrong, Democrat. And here's my solution for this. That would be fascinating to see. Yeah. I think was it was it Ross Perot that was the the one person that ran or or mm-hmm. uh, Ron Paul or whatever it was yeah. like uh, you know Ross Perot was off the deep end didn't really yeah yeah um yeah he just wasn't cause... he wasn't well spoken whereas Howard Schultz is a thoughtful well spoken dude again I'm, I hate Starbucks so he is and he may get the moderate the moderate person where like right. you're Republican but you're not fucking crazy right, right? Or you're Democrat but you're not insane crazy left, yeah. left and you're kind of there is a, a big portion, I think, I'm not sure, but I think of the US where we're kind of in the middle where we can look at both sides craziness and be like, Yeah, where do I stand? And I'm not allowed no one's allowed to be moderate. You need to like take a side, right? right. So that may be interesting too, where, you know, is there enough people that feel kind of the way I do or you do or whatever, where we're just like, no, we're not insane about it. We just kind of feel, you know, yeah, the way that we feel kind of conservatively, whatever. Yeah. I, it's, it will be interesting. And I actually would love to see a three person same debate in that way. And, and maybe we're ready for it. Same. Uh, but he's got to stay in. That's the he key. Has to stay in. I mean, that's a long time. So he's you've got, got to stay in for a while. It. Yes. And that, that, that was the next thing I wanted to bring up is with him. You know, they made a point on 60 minutes of saying you have more money than Trump. Yeah. According to Forbes. And he's like, that yes, I do. Got him. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, uh, it, look, they they're always digging. The media's always oh. digging, obviously. And sixty minutes. Oh, of course. Of course. And it was I I, I was fine with it. Like fucking oh, totally. bring the thunder. If you can't dish it out, I'll, I'll, you know. Absolutely. If you can't take it, then don't dish it out. hundred. Same with Trump and anybody else, right? But when I saw it and they were like, Are you prepared to spend three to five hundred million dollars on a campaign because that's how costly it was. He laughed. I, I would have laughed in that guy's he face. Did if I had a little three bit. billion dollars, goes, what the yeah. fuck do you care about three hundred million at that he point? He goes, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It was, it was definitely like a little bit of a snarky response. But hey, I think that's what you need to if you're going up against Trump. Yeah, you have to be able to. Yeah. To flex like that a little bit, right? Yeah. And be like, huh, I'm gonna be fine. So w- w- when I heard that, I was like, oh, man, are you kidding me? But but then you don't have to campaign. Because my biggest issue with all of this shit, on, on, like as far as these elections go, is how much money is spent on these campaigns. And then all these people lose. Mm-hmm. And you're just throwing away millions and millions of millions of dollars on nothing, essentially, at that point. So right. with a guy, because look, Trump paid for a lot of his uh, Schultz will pay for a lot of his. Th- then at least you're like, all right, great. I, that that was part of the say reason what you want to say. Yeah, you can that run was, on the things you want to run on. That was part of the reason I got behind Trump was, you know, when he was running, was like, all right, I, I like the fact that you know you're not going out to massive boosters or donors or taking Nobody's money from pulling people. your strings, basically. Yeah, you, you can. You, everything you it allows say you to say what you want is what you mean. Yeah, and um, that I think, I mean, that was refreshing for sure. But what he was saying wasn't but yeah so if how if, he was saying. if he gets into this uh i, eh, I think it's good um I, I don't think he'll win but no he won't but, it's but it'll good. be interesting yeah and again it, it will be interesting to see i want to real. it's so hard to tell what people are really thinking yeah and what is the majority i don't know i know what i see in my town i know what i see on the news but like the reality no one has a real good gauge of it yeah you can't listen to the people in california you can't listen to people in new york and then in the middle it's sort of 
you know, there's no real gauge of that. No. Besides the rallies. Which yeah, yeah. They, you don't really know. I mean, they're lying around the corner. So there you go. One of the things you're going to be happy about, by the way, is uh, finding Neverland or leaving Neverland, I should say. I'm going to pull up all my old oh, footage. Oh, boy. You were so me. stoked about this. Hey, so it's, I'm not no, stoked no, no. about I, it. I, I know. <laughs> it's it screened at Sundance, this Leaving Neverland doc. I was incorrect. It is four hours long. Four hours. Because you said probably HBO is going to break it up. I think you would like have to. You're, you're not going to. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I would assume HBO will probably break that up into four segments and, and uh, really milk it for all all you can but the there was two reviewers there who posted their reviews and oof they said this will officially cancel michael jackson and any of you who are holding out hope that he was a decent human being and just got wrongfully accused by these kids and their families or were extorting him for money this will end it for you. That will end that speculation of, ah, I wonder was what it, was he just, really happened. One of the things he, that came out. Childlike. Yeah. And in one of the reviews was that he held a full wedding ceremony with a nine-year-old boy. Yep. And they had rings and the whole shit. And they were sharing their love for one another. And then they paid off the parents a million dollars right after the parents found out about it. Over $26 million sure. was paid out to families mm-hmm. over the course of 20 years with kids. Yep. Um, the other one that, that, that was in this review, and again, because they had sat and watched the movie and said how fucked up it was, mm-hmm. was uh, that he would pit younger kids against each other. So if you got to a certain age of like 14, 15, 16, that he would, you know, stop talking to you on purpose and focus on younger kids and say that you're getting too old and things like that. Like, I mean, it was super dark. The, the reviewers left the screening in Sundance and were just like, I, 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 it's as horrific as you could imagine. And when this comes out, this should change everything that you've ever known about him or everything else. You think, you'd think, but I, I bet you. That the, you know, the family denouncing it and uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people that will, uh, still a lot of people that won't believe it. Um, like the Leah Remini thing with Scientology. Yeah. How come? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There are how many, two seasons, 24 episodes of just crazy stories, people coming out, torture a cult yeah gnarly stuff and we're just like yeah but tom cruise is cool with it so like <laughs> i don't know that's gonna be the next one right Oof. r kelly i mean just there are enough people that are a part of the michael jackson cult i think that will will go against it maybe i'd like to think they aren't but jesus christ we got to this point yeah, I mean, oof, I just. Would you stop listening to Michael Jackson? I, I, that, that's what I was thinking about right now. Like literally right now. I just don't know what to think. I want to watch this, obviously. And yeah, I'm not going to. Well, you know, how if I'm it's feeling. as bad as they say it is, I don't know how in good conscience you could, you know, celebrate him after that. But man, it's all those people. There is about five or six people. <laughs> Um, follow my followers that it will be like, you know, that have always been yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm on you, board. You've had a good five or six that have five always six. hated my Not a lot, Jackson. but you guys are going to be coming out on top when yeah. all of this comes out. <laughs> You'll be the ones that could say, I fucking hated him forever. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're going to be the ones that are in the, you know, majority now. But Oof. when I, it's s- always like a sneak. They're like, hey, just, you know, psst, I hate him too. It's like the secret we have to. Yeah, and, and the, the other part of this is, is we, again, we, we discussed this on the show last week. They were, they were expecting massive protests and all that shit. The police were ready. No one protested. Not one person. Interesting. Not one person showed up. So maybe, mm-hmm. maybe word had leaked of like, hey, this, this is, is really bad. fucking bad. And um, if you get, because let's face it, if you would have showed up and protested there in Sundance, right? 
you know where this is. You, you've obviously been there a couple of times. They would have gotten photos of you protesting and all that shit. And then let's say it comes out. Then there's that photo of you protesting. The there's Michael Jackson that. thing after the documentary comes out. And it's just like, oof. Also, rooms are really hard to get in Park City around that time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy expensive. Crazy expensive. Also cold. So where are you going to stay? And then you're driving in. You're protesting at Sundance yeah. when you want to just be partying. That's a hard venue to get in and out of. There's yeah. only one street. There's one street. It's a mile long. Yeah. Um, the setup that you'd have to do, you know, I don't know if that was going to be the place where they would have the protests. I think maybe a different, another screening yeah. possibly, yeah. uh, might be the protest situation, but yeah, I don't know if there will be one. I think it's just going to HBO. I believe it's available March or April. So we'll see. We'll see. And I will not reserve judgment. No, I am going not to tell all. you right now that it's all true. <laughs> No speculation. And there's no bet. there's no innocent until proven guilty. You can bet your sweet kitten dicks will be covering it on the show after <laughs> it comes out too. <laughs> and mm-hmm. I will be you, you you'll be vindicated for all your hatred. Vindicated, but it doesn't make me happy. <laughs> oh my god. Terrible. I almost don't I almost didn't want to know. I just wanted to be like, I really feel like he's not good, and I just wanted to be like I feel that. I don't really want details. Like it is going to be pretty hard, I think. Yeah. To hear and to see. Yeah. Yeah. Um we did a show our our last show where we talked about the government shutdown ironically because it aired it aired it opened, on yeah. Monday and everybody was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" Like it's it opened over the weekend. We recorded on Friday, so right. obviously it was still closed. Yeah. It's only a temporary stay by the way. It's so yeah. like February 15th. I don't know what happens after that. Do you what go do you back mean? into another shutdown? What do you, what do you do? No, he's going. He said if he doesn't get the wall, he's going to do the state of emergency. Ah, and all right. just get it. I don't want to so see. So those are the. He said there's three, two or three weeks of negotiation. Yes. They're able to do the right thing. All right. Uh, give him the fucking money, and I think ma- mainly in those negotiations, they're going to redefine the word the wall, what they mean by the wall. So I think all those conversations are going to be like listen it's not like a wall wall yeah it's not going to you know be two, I mean? two like, thousand miles worth of wall, wall I, I think it's wall. going it's, to be in areas that need it where it's in areas but then it's also you know getting border technologically yeah is what they're saying yeah. so it's a it's it's more like you know undocumented fake documents really like cracking down on that kind of thing as well so the wall sounds worse than it is and i think that's probably gonna have to be beaten into their head or whatever i i don't i don't understand why you can't use more technology to your advantage with you know and that's what he's put it some form of wall and then drones yes so that way that's the idea you know you could play so it's like bare naked ladies like a full blast on a drone like if somebody's crossing illegally you start playing bare naked ladies and they're like i don't want to come back yeah i don't want to come back in this country yeah, they'll be like, oh, that's yeah, what you guys yeah. are into? Yeah. Still? Yeah. We're, we're heading back over. Still, I have to hear Bare Naked Ladies. Still a little... Tur- they'll turn right around. B&L. Yeah, for sure, for sure. A little B&L, you know? But anyways, yeah, so they're negotiate for that long, and then if they don't <laughs> agree to it, he'll just do it. So yeah. that's the only thing. I don't think there's going to be... I, I don't think there's going to be another shutdown. And I think that in a way, he's... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the hero, but he's the one that opened it back up without there being um, a wall, Yeah, essentially. So he was like, all right, well, can't do this anymore. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I, I, I saw that they were getting their back pay probably at the end of this week, all of the, the people. Man, right. so I'm not having a paycheck for 30 days and then now getting this massive paycheck. Whoo, TSA is going to be partying. Maybe it did you a favor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe saved you up a little Maybe cash. Saved you a little cash. Yeah. Just joking. Maybe they're going that to the Super Bowl. That was a total, total joke. Um, yeah. So, ah, eh, who knows? The last story we'll that see. I want to talk about what, that I found interesting over the weekend is there's people in life that always just fail upwards. Mm. No matter what. Ray J, this guy, he just keeps failing upwards. What's up with him? I'm talking about Brandy's brother. You know, he yes. fucked Kim Kardashian. They had a yeah. sex tape. Mm-hmm. That's how she exploded. You know, he gets a cut of that and it's still massive every year. Right. Right. 
But, you know. Around I, Christmas time, huh? Yeah. I thought dipshit would have spent it all or whatever. Sure. No. Uh, apparently, he's been doing a bunch of like, um, kind of like tech stocks and, you know, apps okay. and companies Investing and shit like in that. Investing in like some weird little things. Yes. So, uh, he in- invested in this thing called the Scoot E-Bike. And they, you know, you can rent these in cities. It's like the bird kind of. Yeah. yeah. But it's got a little seat on it that you can pull out. Oh, all right. Yeah. So you can just ride it like a little tiny bicycle and it's available in, like, I guess Canada's going bug fuck for it. Like sure. they, they use it all the time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, he signed a seven figure deal for these things. So he's, his cut is seven figures. Then he's got stock. The stock uh, has now shot up 300% from Friday to, to Monday. Like, that guy is just, I mean, for, for one thing, one, he did one thing in life. Well, we'll see how those go because people. He had sex with Kim Kardashian. Right. And he's Brandy's brother. Yeah, but Brandy's. Brandy's. Done? Yes. Yeah. I, she's great, but she's done. done. Um, well, we'll see what happens with the scooters because you know that like cities hate them. They do. And we'll get and get them banned and get them thrown away. This, and... this seven figure advance was an advance. Oh, so an he, advance. he gets to keep it no matter what. And then, you Never know, Never mind. Yeah. Then the rest I think is in stocks and things like that. But fuck me, man. Shut up. It's crazy. So look, the, How nice. it, it's these scoot e-bikes are aimed at taking down uh ride share giants like birds, you know, bird scooters, mm-hmm. like you were saying. Um, and and it's a plan to use three types of scooters to get around town. So that way, you know, you can ride it and it's, it's just, it's sometimes it's like a bike. You can ride it standing up like a bird. I don't know if I could ever grab one of those without feeling no. weird. No embarrassed we were in new york and they have those those city bikes right i, would I, I wouldn't even drive a bicycle in new yeah, york city yeah yes oh no in new york i'd you get be fucking clipped. scared for sure for sure i don't want to get clipped mm-hmm. by a cab or any the fuck no i've never i have issues walking in new york without getting clipped yeah and there's look there is cities and i was in columbus ohio was one of them i was in columbus and they're selling those smart cars oh that's right so you just put your credit card in and it's yep. like you know 40 bucks for the day and it's essentially, or 30 bucks, maybe less now, but you can just drive around the city all day in this car and that's it. And you're like, you just like, leave it, leave it wherever you want. Yeah. Wild, right? <laughs> yeah. Like it's a full fucking car. There's also Uber, not Uber, um, like Airbnb for people's cars. So you can, like, oh yeah, 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 city, yeah. Use their house and their, car. their car. Creepy. Are we just not, I mean, is insurance just like not a thing that we care about anymore? I don't like, think so. Okay, cool. Not anymore. Cool, We're cool, good cool, on cool, that, cool, you know? Cool. Yeah. There's got to be something in there. I don't even know. What, what, what would you call and say to your insurance company? Hey, I need to add somebody to my policy. Who? Just total strangers, whoever wants to rent the vehicle. Or is what? it like Airbnb takes on like that liability? I'm not sure. I'm not I don't sure. either. I'm not sure. Wild. But you can like use somebody's Land Rover and shit. I know. Like, and somebody had suggested that when we were, we, we had a big meeting in LA and we were out there for like a week or something. Somebody was like, hey man, why don't you just rent a Range Rover for the week, you know, instead of whatever. And I was like, ah, I'm not that dude, but right. I don't really care what I drive into these fucking meetings yeah, and all me this shit. I yeah, I don't even care. I wouldn't want it. <laughs> like I'm just like totally down to earth and cool. And like, I don't even, I just give me, <laughs> you know what I mean? Give me whatever. Right. Right. Whatever year Land Rover you want to, I'll take yeah. it. Yeah. It could be last year. You know what I mean? I don't even care. <laughs> like, I am so down to earth. Like, I don't need it to be the 19, you know? And that's just me. I rented a car that week. Um, but I will say this that one of the people we were meeting with, one of these business people, did rent the, the tricked out fucking, you know. And how did you feel about them when they drove up? Different, I, right? Like, I, success I thought, I was thought driving this. Up. Like, if you're. <laughs> Yeah, if, if if like if you're starting a company and you're doing that shit, it's just like, all right, cool. If you're the guy that rents that type of shit, I wonder. You're probably yeah. the guy that's going to sink our company. Yeah, no, you're, like, right, you're, hey, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. If if you're if you're, if you're rich a enough, startup, then it yes. doesn't really matter. Yes. Fuck off. All yes. right, cool. But if you're a startup or if you're like real estate where it's your money, like you're, it doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't. You're not spending other people's money to get to drive up in the BMW or whatever. Right. It's yours and you're choosing to present yourself that way, but you're right. Yeah. 
if it's like company money and you're doing all that stuff, it gets suspect. Yeah. Yeah. So, ugh. Oh, again, James. Again, but I, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, you would never. You would I would never. never. And again, I don't care. You don't care. What year it is. Nah, you're just a normal mm. girl. Fun, flirty. Ah, fun, flirt. I'm easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't worry about me. Wasting away. Wasting away. I, I, you know. That was one of the comments on, on the video show on YouTube. Somebody was like, she, tell Jesse she was wasting away right now. I love you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank it's time you. for the revolutionary figure of the day. Shall we? We shall. Um, this one is going to go out to uh, Christy McCullough. Uh, today's the 33 year anniversary of uh, the Challenger exploding. And we talked about China landing on the dark side of the moon a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I remember this because I was a kid and they set up all the TVs in our classrooms yeah. and all that stuff to watch it. And like, I, I, we saw it explode live on television, which was horrific. Yeah. And we still have not attempted after that to go back to the moon or put somebody on the moon since. I don't know why. I wish we would. I, I think that's a really cool. Yeah, yeah but with, with SpaceX and, and the way that we're yeah. sending up rockets every single day, it feels like. And we watched that, that other thing on 60 Minutes last night where they're sending up those satellites. You know, I, look, there has been some explosions on these things, but I would, I would figure for man to get land on the moon again, you, could, you would have it dialed in at this point. Right. Um, with that much gap, I, I, I couldn't believe it was 33 years. I was like, oh, shit. Man, I, that does not seem like 33 years ago. <laughs> but it was. But it was. I guess it's one of those things as a kid. It, it has so much impact on you. And you're like. Because yeah. I remember there was like, you could talk to guidance counselors and things like that. I mean, I was in, I think, elementary school or something. Um, okay i was too young we definitely didn't watch it yeah so we uh, you could talk to like guidance counselors and like about what happened and like the teacher had to explain and then you go home and like yeah but everybody's parents were out like waiting for the kids after they got off the school bus and they were crying i mean it was oh my god i know because what was supposed to happen was they were launching and then they were going to, she was going to do a live book reading from the moon. She was going to teach a lesson from the moon because she was, she was a teacher. Now I'm crying. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, th- that was one of the craziest things that has happened in my life for sure. And when I, when I, when that popped up today, you know, that it was 33 years on the day, I was like, man, you know, it'd be really cool is if we did this again and seriously but but Scary. just to show that it's hey man we're we're advanced beyond that now I'm not they just showed the rocket. yeah but that was for satellites like that's a private company doing it okay where the rocket exploded that was a private company doing it you can take more risk when there's not people on board and you know i i think now with elon musk and the boys branson right i i think or in bezos but bezos is trying to do it too i i think we have the technology now to do it it would be cool to see that in my life in the next couple of years. Actually be successful, yeah. Yes. Because we were in the 60s, for Christ's sakes. Like, sure. Jesus, man. What was it? Like 30 people fucking landed on the moon. I mean, Armstrong and uh, Buzz were the first, but they were doing it, you know, in the 70s and collecting rock samples and all that shit for a while. Like, I think it's time. I'd, li- I'd like to see it go down again. Sure. Uh, my biggest question is whether or not somebody will land on Mars in our lifetime. People are sending enough shit up there and rovers and all that other stuff. Like, that'll be a big deal. Matt Damon was up there. Oh, that's right. That's right. Matt Damon was up there. So there's already <laughs> been someone there. But yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, a non-actor is what I'm talking about. So a non-actor oh, up there okay. would be great. Um, I think that would be a cool thing to see. Yeah. Because those pictures that that rover sent back from what Mars is like, I was like, all right, cool. It's red. It doesn't really look that much different from the moon. It would be cool to see a dude up there just chilling. Yeah. It would probably just, it would probably look like the Matt Damon movie though. Exactly. So, uh, I, I, anyways, happens. either way, I'd like to see it go down again in my life. It'd be awesome. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, AKA the Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is the revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>